Speaking of dark things, uh, the Magrib is back. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> that shit. Boy, Oz. So, so Oz told me, he, he asked me straight up. He said, hey, did you get that Magrib? And I had to look at Oz and I said, man, why you too, why you saying this, man? I've been clean for over a decade now, man. I ain't, I ain't been on that Magrib, man. I don't do that no more. <laughs> Man, I yeah, man, I haven't had a Mac rib in over ten years. I've been clean, man. I can't do that shit no yeah, more, man. Of course, doing his smoothies and everything. Now you're coming with this. Yeah, and I was trying to tempt me back, man. I was that yeah. I was that man on the corner. Hey, man, just can't, one one ain't gonna hurt you, man. Yeah, one one is not gonna kill you. Come on, got man. that sauce, hey. man. Come on, hey, hey, this hey man. I'm- Hey man, I'm just letting you know that it's out. That's all. Yeah. <laughs> Let me tell you something, man. McRib has been around for years, and I used to eat the shit out of McRib sandwiches, man. I used to. That was a holiday for me when McRib came out. Cause first, it, it was in the middle of the summer when it came out. I don't know why they released it in the middle of the year, but I remember when I was a kid, the McRib came out in the summertime, and. My mother, we would get that on your calendar marked. Oh man, I had my calendar marked. I was a national. The, the Mac Rib was a national treasure. That shit was a holiday for me, man. Stop everything, Mama. Don't go to work today. Shit, <laughs> we got to go to work today. Yeah, Dad, don't go to work today. Respect the Mac Rib. Oh, the chat says that is nasty. Well, and I think so too. Well, look. Let me tell y'all something. I man. never had it, but it looks nasty. I well, yeah. Look, it's it's a piece of meat shaped like a rib. Yeah, like it's dude. supposed to like like mimic the bone and everything. You remember the first question I asked you about that? Does it have bones in it? And I was like, uh, yeah, I'm sure it's ground up in there somewhere. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you mean like a rib? No, no, man, that shit is put into a mold. Is meat made out of something put into a mold? And then uh, they they do this shit like play doh. They put it into a mold. They put some sauce on it. They put some pickles and onions on it and say eat it. Yeah, Bad Boy 8189 says, Mac Rib is 80% soy protein and 20% pork, and I fucking love it. Oh, there you go. It is. It's, you look, I get, look, that's healthy to me, man. 20% <laughs> soy, good. So, so. Oz, yeah, I'm a, well, Oz, you know, here's the thing, man, because I'm going to mm-hmm. pass it to you, but... It's yeah, more yeah. plant-based, then. It's exactly. <laughs> exactly, so it's healthy. Right. But I used to, like, I used to get this every time. I used to look forward to when it came out, because I remember when they served it regularly. Um, right. I like it. That was on the menu. Now I don't know what genius came back and said, "Let's pull this. Let's take. Let's let, let's take this meth away from these drug addicts out here, <laughs> and, and and make them make them fiend for it. Make them have withdrawals." But I remember when that shit was served uh, on the regular. Man, I remember when it was uh, on the menu twenty. Uh, well, not twenty four seven because it wasn't twenty four hours McDonald's back in the day. But I remember it was like seven days a week. Uh, mm-hmm. you can get the Mac rib anytime. I remember the commercials for the they Mac did? rib. Yeah, because <laughs> Sethi Martin says so toxic they cannot serve it all year long. That's bullshit. He don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, nah, I used, they, they used to serve this all the time. I remember the commercials for it when it came out, and they knew. His funny thing is, they knew that Negroes were gonna eat this shit. They 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 because uh, McDonald's back in the day. Now, not today. They don't do it as much, but back in the day. They used to have two different commercials, man, for two different mm-hmm. demographics. Mm-hmm. One, you have a dude going in and get a to, to get a hamburger. You know, you have the music da 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 da, going to get a Big Mac da 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 da, and then you have the black people. It'd be like <laughs> Scoob boop da do, gonna get a Big Mac. <laughs> <You know? laughs> they even took the damn nickname, Mickey D's. Mickey D's, yeah. Mickey D's. Shit, niggas be dancing going into McDonald's and shit. <laughs> <laughs> like they go, people used to go to make. They had black people going to McDonald's like they were going to the club. But I remember that. Oh, yeah, that's great. Yeah, commercials like that. Yeah, I'm supposed to be shaking it, like be rolling their necks, snapping and shit, going to McDonald's. But <laughs> they, uh, but they toned it down for the McRib because they wanted they they wanted them black people to hear this shit right here. Uh, this one of the first <laughs> McRib commercials that were out at the time. What'd you say this was again? McDonald's calls it the McRib. Wait a minute, hold on. Uh, man, you bought this shit. You don't know what it is you eat. <laughs> you, don't, you don't know what you eat, you stupid son of a bitch. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, how'd you get this sandwich? Yeah, he was, about to, he was really about to bite in there. He like, uh, now what's this shit again? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they get, gave it away or something. Yeah, let's end up there looking like me. <laughs> hey, who wants bought? Bones in a sandwich. Right. Wow, they made you think on that one, like, yeah, yeah, you know that's right. Bones. I don't eat the bones; they just get in the way. 
<laughs> Shit, you making sense, Ronald McDonald? Why'd you say this before? <laughs> Oh, goddamn smart. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, man, those motherfuckers could sell you, they could sell you heroin at McDonald's and make that shit seem like it's healthy. Put on a home style roll with pickles and onions. Well, how about it? Mm-hmm. Mm. At McDonald's. Mm. 82. <laughs> mm. Hit him with that old tape. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the reason why I stopped eating Meg Ribs because. They shamed me out of eating Meg ribs. I used to work at this this uh, this game studio. I was an animator at this game studio, Human Code. And I remember, I, look, I was minding my own business, man. Went to McDonald's, got it to go, the Mac rib. Went back to work. I was going to eat it real quick and get back to emanating. And I, I made the mistake of going into the lunchroom when everybody else was in there. I pulled out that mag rib and everybody looked at me and they're like, it's that you swear I would have pulled out a a, a fucking AK forty seven or something like <laughs> a seven head. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they were like, are you like I like I might as well just pulled out cocaine and start doing it on the table. They were like, are you serious? I'm like, what really? You eat that? Eat what? It's edible. I, you know, I yeah, can they chew it. Sell it. Yeah, they sell it. It's food. Yeah. I, you mean I'm eating food? Yeah. And they were like, oh like, my yeah, God. Like, yeah, I'm going to eat that and I'm going to shit it out later too. Yeah. I'm about to shit on you. You don't leave me alone. But they were like, really, man? Do You you do know what that is, right? Do you realize this meat shaped like a bone? How, I, Man, I don't know about you. And the thing is, is that after that, they nicknamed me Mac Rib. Oh no! Yeah, I walked oh, into the office, yeah, shit. and Yehudi, Yehudi, but my friend Yehudi, who is an amazing guy, amazing talent. You, you're probably going to see some, and I'm not lying. I can't say I'm not liberty to say, but you're probably going to see some big projects coming from him, from major studios. Uh, he's on his way. Mm. But let me just say this: Yehudi used to give me shit all the time, and every time I walked to the office, he was like a frog. He'd be like, "Make rib." Make real. <laughs> <laughs> and people just start calling me because of Yehudi. People start calling me. My nickname for months was Mac Rib. Okay. <laughs> but I think you deserve it. Like, like I was like I was an Irish cop. Hey, Mac Rib. <laughs> the chief wants to see you. <laughs> Rib. Yeah. All their co-workers were white. <laughs> yeah, they were all white. <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> Maybe that's another yeah. thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right before that sauce off here. Get away. <laughs> McRib, get in here. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, man. You're Corey M. Coleman, they say. Yeah, I am now. I had to tell him. I was like, man, I because one day I had to tell him. I was like, man, now come on, y'all. I ain't had a McRib in months. Y'all stop calling me this shit. And they didn't. They just stopped on their own. They got tired of calling me that. Yeah. Yeah, so. McRib. Somebody in the chat, somebody said McRib the crime dog. <laughs> <laughs>